It's Vlogmas Day 1. I have never done Vlogmas before, but I'm committed to doing Vlogmas every day, starting today until Christmas. And so we'll see how this goes, and I hope that you enjoy it a whole lot. For day one, I have a few things planned. What do I have planned for day? For day one, I have to do my budget. I also need to run a few errands. And I also need to discuss with my boyfriend a few things about his real estate course we have been working on. And so that's the basic plan for today, but I'm gonna take you along so you can see day one of Vlogmas. Babe, why you not singing? Babe, what you eating for breakfast? Stop. Today, following Bible classes is the answer. I ain't brushing my teeth yet. Watch my face. That's my fault that you ain't brush your teeth and wash your face. Yet you eat ice cream. Bro, come on. We'll go directly. Come on, Bobby. Come on, Second round, babe. <laughs> yeah, and I'll handle the rest for you. Best of all, if you have any custom requirements, you can just contact me before ordering, and I'll have it done in no time. Sounds good? Then pick the package that suits your needs best and place your order. So we're doing a, we're creating a course for my boyfriend. He is a wholesaler. He wholesales real estate and so he's creating a course that he plans to launch in February to help people who want to get into wholesaling so we're partnering on this endeavor and so one of the things that we want to do in the course is to have some whiteboard animations so I found this one service that will do it for you but then he was like what about Fiverr wouldn't that maybe be cheaper and we wouldn't have to do it so now we're checking out Fiverr to see what to do so what do you think babe uh the video seemed too much so definitely uh somebody that i would like to at least look into that's so funny babe guess what? what here you go what about what that's what she's from charlotte you see see what you need Hmm, what would it be? Oh, what? Babe. I'm about to rock this right now. So we'll hop up shower. Yeah, please take a shower. Later. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's kind of long. You tell me to get the tall tea. Or is that the tall tea one? I don't remember. It's it gotta be the tall one. Large tall. Oh yeah. But it says large actually. But it's still a really large shower. Cool, cool, okay. We got one more. Okay, that one's not for you. Hmm. Let me see, let me see, let me see. What was it called? What's it called, babe? On Black Friday, I launched my merch line. So this is a sample of other stuff that I plan to carry on my shop, the merchandise. I have like t-shirts and sweatshirts and then I also have some budgeting tools and whatnot on there. So I plan to release new things like every single month. So definitely check it out. I still have, I still have a discount going for Black know. Friday until Cyber Monday. So since today's Sunday, we still got one more day for the discount. So you get 30% off and 15% off if you spend over $50 in the shop. But everybody gets 30% off with the code BLACKFRY30. So check it out for sure. I'm going to get my shirt back then. It's hard to get the discount. <laughs> you get discount that shirt. What's up? Because you got the shirt for free. As a matter of fact, let me get go ahead and get a little transfer to my account. Anyway, I'm about to try on my shirt. Maybe I'll wear this today. Hmm. 
Maybe I'll wear it today. <laughs> so my boyfriend Mike, he went to Dallas for Thanksgiving and he brought home food that his mom cooked for Thanksgiving. So what I'm about to do is grub on some of this food. So let's see what she got or what she gave us. So this is a little bit of greens. Oh, is it frozen? Okay, and this is mac and cheese. I don't eat cheese, so I won't be eating that. And then, there's this other bag here. Whew, I think I'm gonna have to use two hands. Some turkey and some, I call it stuffing, he calls it dressing. What do you call it? Stuffing or dressing? Drop down in the comments below and let me know what you call it. Okay, so I guess this is some lasagna and some ribs. So we also have some Publix fried chicken. So I think I'm going to put this together with some greens and something else. And I'm going to have that for lunch. Amazing trainer, so it's forty-five dollars. I go Monday through Thursday, and it's forty-five dollars each time. So, so I don't know anything about crazy. So I just fell asleep. I guess eating that food gave me the itis. So I don't know how long was I sleep, babe? Uh, about an hour. I'm still tired, but I'm about to go in here and do my budget because I need to budget. It's the first of the month. So I'll meet you there on the other side. Okay, so I just sat down to do my budget for December and I'm going to start off with my income like I normally do. So it's pretty much not going to change much from last month in terms of my regular paycheck. So I'm just going to copy that number over. Boom. And then Instacart. As you may know, I get money from um, Instacart, from working Instacart and also from bonuses. So that's mainly the variable part of my income. Referral bonuses. Referral bonuses, actually. And so um, that's the main, I guess, variable part of my income right now. So let me go see how much money I may be making in this month. From referral bonuses if you're interested you can sign up for instacart using my link below okay so i just got one for today or recently 150. so from what i'm seeing it looks like i can get up to about $2,675 from Instacart this month, but all of that is very variable um, based off of the referral bonus. But I'm gonna go ahead and just estimate $2,500. And really, I'm kind of concerned about estimating so much because you just never know. But I'm just gonna go ahead and put $2,500 down for my income. So that brings my income to. 36.97 for the month, which is pretty good. So let me go through my budget and budget everything out.
Okay, so since last month, I've been paying $75 a week towards my student loans just to combat the interest that accrues on a weekly basis. And so let me see how much money that accumulates to for this month. So there's actually only four Fridays in December. So four times $75 is $300 that we're paying in interest this month. So... That's what I've been doing to keep the debt down. And luckily, I don't accrue that much money in interest every single week. And so a little bit, like $5 in, $5 actually goes towards the principal. And maybe a little bit goes towards the principal, like 2 or $3 goes to the principal on the other loan. And so it's chipping off a little bit off the balance, but not a whole lot. But every little bit counts. So... Um, let me go back to a few things and figure out what I'm going to do for those things. Since December is a major, you know, month for spending. And for me, I'm going to be traveling. I'm going to be out of, well, we're going to be in Miami for, um, nine days. And then I also am going to be going to, the light wanted to turn off. Let's turn this back on. Why did it turn off? Why'd it turn off? Well, I'm trying to do it then. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what is wrong. There's lights in here. I'm trying to like to. Okay. That's why you have to have multiple lights in your studio. Okay, so what was I saying? I have um I also am going to be going to Atlanta a few different times. So I'm going to Atlanta for an interview that I have this week. Then we also might be going to Atlanta to film the videos for Mike's um, real estate course. And also I'll have to go to Atlanta to be able to take my flight as well. So that's a few different times I'm gonna have to fill up my tank. Usually round trip takes one tank in my car. It's about 20 something dollars to fill up my tank. So I'm estimating about $75 in gas for this month. But with that comes money that I need to spend, like buying food and um, what else? I guess buying food. So I don't know how much money I need to spend. So I'm going to be in Atlanta at least, I don't know, maybe, I'm going to estimate for like three days this month. So if I spend about $25, which is probably a lot, but $25 times three, I'm going to put $75 down. Well, not, not yet, really. So $75 for the Atlanta food eating. And then when it comes to um, when I'm in Miami, of course, I'm going to want to get food, you know, that I love there. So I'm going to have to eat out, like, I guess I don't have to, but I'm going to want to eat out probably a good, like, two times, three times. I'm going to go with three. So I'm going to say $150 for eating out this month. So let me go ahead and put that down on the restaurant, my bitty. And then what else did I say I wanted to come back to? Um, that's pretty much it, I guess. Parking, I don't know how much parking is gonna cost me, but I'm estimating about $40. I think I'm gonna park at my uncle's house in Atlanta. So that way when I go to Miami, for those nine days i don't have to pay for parking at the airport or anywhere else that's going to be super expensive so i'm parking my uncle's house that'll probably help a little bit i also need to um buy toiletries um, i actually need to probably go ahead and make that purchase on amazon like right after this because i need more conditioner for my hair and Yep, that's pretty much it for the budget. So it comes out to $1,639. So that's pretty good. Um, that is still under budget if I don't end up getting that $2,500 from um, from Instacart. I also actually need to put down income from a sponsored video that I'll be doing this month. But I don't know how that payment actually works. So maybe I won't put that down. Yeah, I'm not going to put that down because I have no idea if I'll be paid this month or not. I need to talk to them about that. We're kind of like in the early stages. So I'm not going to put that down. But I'll still be good even if I don't get that money. So that's my budget. It took me all of 
10 minutes to do this. So, yep. So now that I've done my budget, I'm going to actually go ahead and set up some automatic transfers and pay some bills. Okay, so I'm gonna go on Amazon and buy my um, hair conditioner. So, I buy my conditioner from Ren Pure. And this is the one that, yep, it says your past purchases. So, I buy this one, $6.98. And it is 32 four ounces. It lasts me a pretty good amount of time. So this is the last time I purchased. This lasts me about three months, two, three months. So it's pretty good. Actually, three months, September, October. Yeah, about three months. So yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and buy this now. Okay, so I'm going to go in here and actually set up the automatic payments for the rest of the month. So I'm actually going to show you to... Um, my payment history so you can see what I was talking about so here's one loan and so by me paying what is this I never know what this is this interest subsidy so I guess I'm getting interest paid somehow on one of my loans or on this loan but it's not the entire thing so on loan 819 so I got $33.56 paid. Hmm, I don't know. But anyway, so let's go to the payment on that I normally make on this account. So $45 um, was the last one. $5 went to interest. Um, $5 went to interest. This one, don't remember why more went to interest, but it's a little bit more went to interest on this one. And then let's go to the second loan. And I also got an interest subsidy on this one. It's on one loan. I don't know, but whatever. So, um, yeah, so let's see. So $3.50, $3.49, $3.49 goes to the principal. So that's pretty good. Um, I mean, it's not a lot, but it, every little bit counts. And obviously, this interest subsidy is helping me out a bit. Um, but I don't know what it's from. May need to call them and get some more in information on why I'm getting an interest subsidy on two of my loans, two out of the five of my loans. But I'm gonna go ahead and set up my payments now. Um, pay online. So I have to set up a payment for every single week. I have to go in there and do it like manually. So I'm gonna go in and put $45 on this one, $30 on this one, and I'll do it on Fridays. I think I already have a payment for the six. So the next one would be December 13th. It just so happens, I guess, to be my due date, but I don't owe anything on regular due dates because I am on income-based driven repayment program. So. There we go. Oh, you know what? I actually wanted to change the bank account. Oh, that's on the next page, okay. But this shows me all of the payments that I have scheduled. So I have one for 11.29, 12.6, 12.6. And then these are the ones that I'm adding now, 12.13. So it will show me like every single one. So I wanna pay for my Capital One account. Cause I learned that I cannot pay too much from my Sally Mae account because I will get um, fees for doing more than six transactions out of that account per month and that is going against the whole point of doing all that so yeah I'm gonna keep doing this so I'm gonna keep um, setting up the rest of the payments for the month and then I think me and my boyfriend are gonna watch a movie on Netflix to round out the night as a bunch of lazy people <laughs> we've been so lazy like this is ridiculous but yeah hey we gonna watch netflix and chill <clears throat> but i'm working on my course for financial freedom you're not serious you you're, you're not trying to help the people grow their wealth 
build their income in whatever you else you say. That's not what you're doing. <laughs> All right. Okay. Call me out. All right. Go ahead. Work on your clock. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that wraps it up for Vlogmas Day 1. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll be back again for Day 2. And hopefully this one will cooperate tomorrow. <laughs>